In Kansas Teacher of the Year, Tiffany Richards' world, establishing connections with her students comes before all else. My philosophy is that every single student can learn in my classroom, and it's my job as a teacher to find a way to reach every single one of those students. And I do that by making sure that each one of my students is successful because I care about every single one of those students. And as soon as they know that I care about them and that they can be successful with me, then they will do whatever it takes in order to keep working until they be, do become successful. Well, she's just always, just always helping. Like, whatever we need, she's just always there for us. So she's an awesome teacher. <laughs> I want to be with kids every single day. And being a teacher means to me that I have a huge responsibility every single day. I wake up every morning, my first thought is, Okay, here's my students this morning. What am I going to do? What is our lesson? And I go through that lesson in my head first thing when I wake up. You can put some more in there, just play with it. The passion that pushes Richard to such a thoughtful approach allows her to explore new perspectives in the classroom. So what happened when you put all the drops of oil on? She doesn't only teach it in one way, she teaches it in multiple ways that make it so much easier to learn and you get like an aspect of all around the subject, not just your core learning. So you actually like understand what you're learning. Why do you think she's such a great teacher? I think it's because she doesn't treat us like we're students all the time. She treats us more like her family. She really understands like the kids' point of view, and she just makes everything very interesting to learn. So, and she makes it easy to learn, too. Science is something that kids start out loving. Science is one of their favorite things. Kids love going outside, they love asking questions, they love playing around in the kitchen and getting really messy and asking why does this happen and why do we have bubbles here? And somehow along the way, they lose that because sometimes science turns into it's just these words we have to memorize. But I set them up with an experiment so that they start out asking questions again. And so those words that they've started hating, those words are now a way so they can talk to each other about what is happening so they can answer each other's questions. So the oil rises. One of eight regional finalists, Richard became the seventh state teacher of the year from the Olathe district since the first was chosen in 1974. And she hasn't exactly gone unnoticed at Olathe East in the eight years that she has been teaching there. Uh, and that's what I use for my conclusion. So when you found out that she was Kansas Teacher of the Year, what did you think? Finally. <laughs> she, she really is just like a great teacher. Like, I would have expected her to have won it multiple times. It really was an amazing feeling. And then to look out and realize all the teachers in Kansas. I grew up in Kansas. Kansas is an important part of my life. And then to realize that I get to represent all of the teachers in Kansas. It was really awe-inspiring. Richard continues to awe her students part-time while touring the state as the Kansas Teacher of the Year. Winning this prestigious award has led to a whirlwind of activities this year. Currently, Richard is traveling the state of Kansas meeting with education groups and is looking forward to resuming her full-time duties here at Olathe East in the fall. Look for more Focus on Features from the Olathe Public Schools. Thanks for watching.